It's the final stage, guys. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We're in a good position to win the points classification. But watch out, as we can still be caught. Caution. We can finish on the podium, or even win if all goes well. I'm counting on you to stay up front in the final 20 kilometers. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The final stage on the Champs-Élysées is always one of the most coveted. In the past, sprinters seeking the prestige of a victory in Paris have sometimes been caught off guard. But it hasn't happened very often. With the specialists who currently dominate the discipline, it's an even more demanding challenge. Riders have just set out and already there's an attack. There's plenty of movement. New attack. The riders will follow the same, passing in front of the Eiffel Tower, and will cross the Pont Royal before entering the prestigious circuit. still isn't done. They're stepping on the pedal at the front of the peloton. Thomas caught up. There's no more escapees. Things are livening up at the head of the peloton. Attempt at the counter attack. The first riders are entering the Champs Elysees circuit. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. An intermediate sprint will be contested on the second crossing of the line. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The riders will have four laps to do. The time gap with the head of the race is stable. at the head of the peloton. The circuit goes round the Jardin des Tuileries, taking the tunnel. 
The riders emerge into the Rue de Rivoli and return towards the finishing line. The time gap between the peloton and the breakaway is decreasing. His teammates have positioned themselves at the head of the peloton. They will no doubt manage the gap so as to finish in a sprint. The head of the race is three kilometers from the intermediate sprint. Last time checked with a breakaway, one minute. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind, so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. The breakaway is losing ground. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Thirty seconds lead for the head of the race. 30 seconds on the peloton. You'll have to up the pace. His team is moving into the driving seat behind. There's another attack at the head of the peloton. You didn't make any friends today. Your attitude will encourage your opponents to attack. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. You have 30 seconds lead. Two more laps. The end of this tour is not far off. Breakaway's over. It's start all over again.
is accelerating. You're not doing your share of the work, and so the others no longer want to ride. Anyway, we're into the final kilometers. We can forget any ideas of cooperation. The riders are all back together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. Bunched peloton. The peloton is beginning the final lap. The sprinter's team will continue to set a heavy tempo to avoid attacks. 30 seconds between you and the pack. Ten kilometers. This will finish in a mass sprint. I'm counting on you to win the stage and strengthen our hold on the green jersey. Guys, to keep a grip on the sprint, you must try to stay amongst the front ten of the peloton. I'm counting on you. Watch out, he's trying to catch up the sprinters. The SKPs are in the tunnel. They're still managing to hold off the peloton, but it's going to be complicated. It will require quite a feat. Tension is at its maximum. The lead out riders will soon peel off to open the way for the sprinter. The final sprint of the Tour de France is on. He's just fallen. That may cost him some time in the overall standings. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standings. Go, go, one kilometer. You've got to give everything in the sprint. A teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. Him 
loudly. He becomes a part of such consistent throughout this tour. He managed to score enough points to dominate his rival. It's time for the best sprinter to receive the green jersey. Always present at the front, we can say that he has laid his mark upon the race, and that his polka dot jersey is just a reward for all the efforts he has made. Now we will welcome the best climber of this edition, Jakob Fugelsang. Come on! With this jersey on his shoulders, there's no doubt that we should see him play a leading role. shoulders, there's no doubt that we should see him play a leading role for a few more years. Applaud him as he deserves. Well done, guys. We were aiming for a podium place, and you did the job. I'm satisfied. We fit. Thank you. 